Uh, I stand here also on behalf of the chairman of the World Zionist Organization, Avram Duhivani, and Vice Chairman David Breakstone. And we're here to give our respects to Taylor and to give him a proper send-off from the State of Israel. I'll begin with a message from the family sent to me by Taylor's sister, Kristen. Following message. Please convey our deepest appreciation to the Israeli people and the government who have been so compassionate and thoughtful during the worst moment of our lives. Taylor was our world and our lives are forever changed. But knowing Israel mourns with us is comforting. I'd like to acknowledge the presence of representatives of the US military, Lieutenant General Rudishan, Colonel Keith Phillips, and on behalf of the Embassy of the United States, on behalf of the Ambassador Dana Shapiro, I'd like to ask the Deputy Chief of Missions, Bill Grant, to say a few words. Thank you, Doug. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of President Obama, Vice President Biden, Secretary of State Kerry, Ambassador Dan Shapiro, and all of my colleagues at the American Embassy, it is with profound sadness that we gather today and bow our heads in fellowship as Taylor Force begins his journey home. Innocent of any wrongdoing, Taylor was taken cruelly from his family, his friends, fellow students at Vanderbilt University, and his community in an act of terror, which we condemn with all of our strength. A graduate of West Point, a veteran of combat tours in Iraq and Afghanistan, Taylor Force represented the best of America. Taylor had a good friend who lives in Israel, who was together with him at West Point. And I'd like to call upon uh, David Simpkins to please uh, say a few words about his good friend. Taylor Force was the perfect example of a U.S. Army officer. He was humble, optimistic, hardworking, handsome, and gen genuinely loved everyone regardless of their race, religion, or creed. Taylor is possibly the only person I knew who had absolutely no personal enemies. I never once heard anyone say a negative thing about him. I can't think of anyone else who accomplished such a thing, who have lived his life in such a way that he did not hurt anyone enough for them to want to curse or disrespect his name. I urge everyone who believes in prayer to pray according to whatever religion you adhere to so that Taylor's family might find solace. Well done. Be thou at peace. May your memory be a blessing. also bring peace to all of us here on earth. In Hebrew we say, as someone goes to burial, Lech v'shalom, Taylor, go in peace. The people of Israel are with you, are with your family, and may all of us only share good news together in the future. Thank you everyone for joining us today. 